Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with a short video introduction in the scaling aerial photographs or bitmaps. So we open up the geodatabase, go to fundamentals, bitmap, load. Here we have a selection of different bitmap formats or graphic formats that are supported. Bitmap, TIFF, JPEG, and PNG. In this case we open up a PNG file. And here we have a local coordinate system. So we don't always have to work in UTM, so you can work in a local coordinate system too. Uh, we have two coordinates that we will enter right here, bottom left, top right. So the first one will be negative 1000, zero, digitize the point. Second point here, and that will be 1,200, and if you like you can, uh, yeah, so this is all we need for a two-dimensional uh, bitmap. If you have any concerns that you may have like a skew in terms of like blueprints or aerial photos that are uh, taken with uh, some sort of a projection angle, we can uh, put in a, a third coordinate. Well, let me put a third coordinate in here. And that would be uh, 1000 zero. And in that case uh, we of course over define our two-dimensional geometry. But with that the program can uh, generate a correction angle or correction at least square error. And so let's see if we can uh, improve the uh, scaling here. First one, right on top. Third one, and then the scaling arrow is 3.7. So that's uh, for this size of a uh, bitmap, that's pretty good. We'll click OK. So here, in terms of the scaling, one thing to remember select uh, the points as far as apart as possible. And if you add more than uh, three points, uh, or two points, uh, put the points as again as far, uh, create the biggest triangle possible in terms of known coordinates on your bitmap. So here we have our bitmap. We can uh, check the coordinates by moving your cursor on top of that. So this was 1,200, 0, 1,000, 0, and uh, right here is negative 1,000 and uh, also 0. So we are within uh, a couple meters. You can do the same thing for actual bitmaps. So let me show you some examples um, existing right here. And this is a bitmap of an aerial. And here we have three coordinates uh, entered. First coordinate on this uh, corner of the building, second coordinate uh, this corner of the building, and then here the third coordinate. Again, three points, uh, a triangle as far as part as possible. We have a standard deviation of 2.5 or 2.49. Again, for this scale, a relative good uh, match. Uh, the further uh, or the bigger the scale, the error will increase because it's a square of the uh, actual XY, bitmap XY, and the UTM XY. So the bigger the, the map, the bigger the standard deviation. So double check the coordinates after you uh, import the bitmap to see how good they match with the actual UTM coordinates that you have and uh, to also verify the uh, scaling. Uh, let me show you a third scale. Uh, that's this one here. This is from uh, Google Earth, imported from Google Earth. And in this import, uh, the program will look at the bottom left and bottom right coordinate of the building, uh, of the bitmap, and uh, define the UTM coordinates. To select bitmap uh, through uh, Google Earth, you connect to Google Earth, and then uh, you take over the Google Earth image through this uh, bitmap and take over current Google Earth bitmap. There's another video on Google Earth interfacing. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, contact me. Thank you and uh,
this is the end of the video.